When I first reviewed the original Roborot Q Revo back in June of 2023, I never imagined that over the next year I'd be reviewing five more Q Revo models on my channel. Roborot now offers a staggering eight different Q Revo models with two additional variants. My name is Jamie Andrews, and in this video, I'll guide you through each model, explaining the differences, upgrades, and downgrades. By the end, you'll know which models are worth considering and which ones you might want to skip entirely. Before we dive in, for those new to the QRevo series, I've linked a comprehensive review of all of the models that I have analyzed below in the description. All QRevo models are designed to vacuum and mop your floors. They come with a convenient dock that automatically washes and dries the mop pads, empties the robot's internal dustbin, and refills its water tank. The original QRevo is still available for purchase. It boasts a powerful 5500 Pascal suction motor, lifting mopping pads, reactive tech object avoidance, a 350 milliliter internal dustbin, and an 80 milliliter internal water tank. The QRevo S is the most affordable model in the QRevo lineup. While it's missing from my collection, it offers a few upgrades over the original model including a more powerful 7,000 Pascal rated vacuum motor and quieter operation for the robot and the dock. However, it does have some drawbacks, such as a smaller 330 milliliter dustbin and 25% smaller clean and dirty water tanks in the dock. You may notice that the docks, besides the original QRevo, are a bit shorter, about an inch and 5 eighths. The next model up from the S is the QRevo Plus. The primary upgrade in this model is the swing out mop pad, which is designed to reach into tight corners and hard to clean areas. For hot water mop washing and intelligent cleaning, the QRevo Pro is the next step up. It features dirt detection technology that automatically sends the robot back to remop and rewash the mopping pads if needed. The QRevo Max V offers several significant upgrades, including a front facing camera with reactive AI advanced object avoidance and remote viewing with two way audio. It also features a liftable brush roller that retracts during mopping and docking. Additionally, Roborock has integrated a microphone into the LiDAR cover, enabling voice control with the Hello Rocky voice assistant. The QRevo Master offers even more powerful cleaning with a 10,000 Pascal rated vacuum motor, dual roller brushes with a hair cutting system, a swing out side brush for corner cleaning. It also features a partially self cleaning dock and smart plan for automated cleaning. However, it comes with a significantly smaller 220 milliliter dustbin when compared to other models. The QRevo Slim is a slimmer version of the QRevo Master, featuring a slightly more powerful 11,000 Pascal suction motor. By relocating the LiDAR sensors to the front and the back, it can access tighter spaces and improves with object avoidance. The only downside is a slightly smaller 72 milliliter internal water tank compared to the other models. The QRevo Curve is currently the top of the line model in the QRevo series. It offers several significant upgrades, including the ability to lift its chassis to clear obstacles and thick carpets, a duo divide anti-tangle brush roller, and a larger 6400 milliamp battery. It also has an incredibly powerful 18,500 Pascal vacuum motor. It has a larger 325 milliliter dustbin when compared to the previous two models, and a dock with much hotter water for mop washing. The only potential drawback is a slightly smaller dirty water tank in the dock, which I don't think is a big deal. There are two additional variants of QRevo models worth noting. The QRevo Edge, which is yet to be released, features the same robot as the Curve, but with a traditional dock design similar to the QRevo Master. The QX Revo is a rebranded version of the original QRevo, sold exclusively at Costco with a discounted price, longer warranty, and additional accessories. Now let's discuss cleaning performance based on my testing. For carpet cleaning, the QRevo Curve is the clear winner, scoring an impressive 98% in my test. On hard floors, the QRevo Slim outperformed the others, securing the second best overall score in my testing at 97%. 
In terms of mopping, they are all very similar and performed about the same with negligible differences. For households with pets or long-haired individuals, the Curivo Curves Duo Divide Brush Roller is the best choice. While none of the models excel in object avoidance, especially on carpets, the Curivo Slim has a slight edge based on my testing. All the docks performed well, but the Curve or Edge Dock stands out due to its significantly hotter water. Well, that concludes our overview of the eight Curivo models currently available. For most people, the Curivo S or Plus should suffice. I personally lean towards the Plus due to its edge cleaning capabilities. While the Pro offers hot water mop washing, my testing suggests it's not a significant benefit. For those seeking a premium model, the Curve is undoubtedly the best choice. Alternatively, the Slim is a strong contender, excelling in hard-to-reach areas, object avoidance, and overall performance. Finally, here's a chart detailing all the differences between the Q-Revo models. You can find a link to the full chart, including all Roborock models, in the description. While the large lineup of Q-Revo models might seem overwhelming, it's actually a great thing. It ensures that there's a model perfectly suited for your needs and budget. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Your support means a whole bunch to me. Until next time, take care.